there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are cleaning up from my son's second birthday party. We decided to go with the theme growing up too fast. He loves cars. That's like the first thing I hear him say when I get him out in the morning. He's just like, ka. <laughs> it's hilarious, but he had a blast. And I'm not really sure if the mess in my kitchen suggests that my guests had a blast too, but I think that they really enjoyed themselves as well. So the day that I'm getting started cleaning is actually a couple days after the party. We celebrated on a Sunday and a lot of our guests stayed into the evening, which I was already anticipating. It wasn't like unwelcomed, but we, you know, had a lot of people over and it was pretty late when everyone left. And so I wasn't going to try to get any cleaning done that night. It was my birthday party kind of as well. So I wanted to just leave it and relax. And that's not typically me, but I just, I really wanted to rest. So the next day, my husband was at work and I knew I wanted to film a cleanup video and I just wasn't feeling it. Like I was so, my body was just so tired. And so I just got the kids out of the house. I was like, we're not going to make this mess any worse Let's just get out of the house, do some activities out and about, take our naps, and I'll deal with it later. So it is later, and I am trying to get as much done on this first day of cleaning as possible. Shine bright up all night, whenever slow went down. Fall in love, drunk mistakes, we're bound to hit the ground. Gotta keep this feeling, keep on So I'm going to be cleaning my glass sliding door and I used a combination of Expo marker as well as a chalk pen. So there's two different types of like ink on here, but I'm using for the first time like a little razor blade to scrape off most of the product before giving the glass sliding door a wipe down. I have to say this is like my first time trying this and I love this technique. I will forever be doing this because in the past, I would use a wet rag and it would a lot of times smear the chalk marker everywhere and I'd get it clean, but it just took forever. And in this case, it made it a whole lot easier. So had we celebrated like on a Saturday, I probably would have left Juan in charge of cleaning up the backyard. But since we celebrated on a Sunday, I didn't want my yard to be messy all week. So I decided to also take care of this. And I was really proud of myself for like getting this all in, like burning those calories. And one thing that we weren't necessarily anticipating was how muddy it would be. So I guess it like rained the night before the party and our grass was just like really, really soaked. So when all the kids Kids were running around you know there there was just like a lot of mud stained on our concrete so I'll give you a little glimpse of it and we're gonna clean it up a little later in this video since I took care of it a few days later 
Let's take it slow. Where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it slow. So you might notice that I am wearing different clothes. I think this is in an evening on one of the days and I just wanted to keep all of the floor cleaning, you know, kind of together. But the first, you know, chunk was during Jack's nap and I didn't want to vacuum too close to his room. But the second little section is when it's like in the evening, he is going to be going to bed in a little bit and you just can see how difficult it can be to clean with a toddler running around. But while difficult, it is also very entertaining. So birthday parties are typically like my time or a reminder to kind of vacuum my couch and it really wasn't too dirty so I just kind of figured I'd get the crevices and you know like the little foot cushion and everything and that would be good enough. And then if you guys watched one of my previous videos, I reused a lot of the birthday balloons from my balloon arch and displayed them on this new like three in one balloon arch stand for like a product review. So that is why we are going to be popping the balloons on the balloon circle rather than the balloon arch that was at my party.
So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed those pops. I know a lot of people love to hear them and I hope you guys like them. If not, let me know if you like it done in a different way. But we are going to be now moving on to pressure washing our concrete. Like I mentioned in the beginning, like this wasn't something that I anticipated having to do, but it was really satisfying to do it because our concrete was just so dirty. And the last thing we're gonna do is just clean up my glass board. So I hope that you guys enjoy this little segment. I also hope you enjoyed this whole video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you stick around, subscribe, check out my birthday prep video for this party, and I will catch you guys in the next one. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.